Today we're going to review the Honda CRF 300L 15,000 kilometer review. This bike is a beauty. We're going to talk more about it right now. Welcome back and today we're going to talk about the 15,000 kilometer review of the Honda CRF 300L. It's about a year and a half old and this bike has really done well. I have had no problems with the battery. I'm waiting for the battery to go bad, but the battery's still going good. I went to the Honda shop and I ordered a new chain and a new sprocket set just in case they go bad. But so far, they haven't gone bad. One of the things that I did was I took off the Bark Buster hand guards here. I had these Bark Busters on and they're causing trouble. So I had them both removed. I had a, this is the replacement clutch lever and the bark they're breaking with the bark busters i went ahead and just removed them completely here's the bracket right here here's one bracket and here's another bracket over here and i just went ahead and changed them got them out got rid of them because they were causing more trouble than they were worth today i did an oil change on the bike and the bike it's really well. I've went ahead and changed the oil about once every 3,000 kilometers. Honda recommends 8,000, but 3,000 for me is a lot. I went ahead and I changed this oil, this oil filter right here. Got a new oil filter in there. Filled up the oil here at the oil reserve. When I put this uh, cap on, I use a little pliers and I tighten it up. So that if kids or somebody like that wants to go ahead and put some sand into my oil reserve and wreck my engine, I tighten it up so that nobody can really get to it very easy. I've gone through like three of these fenders. Look at that. It's ready to break off. I think it's like two or three of these fenders. And I'm going to have to probably order another one. These brackets are real nice. I just don't like those long brackets the Honda they give you when you buy the bike. So I went ahead and got these nice short bracket here that you don't have to worry about the the blinkers here or the rear light, the brake light. So it's really nice and uh, the bike I've literally done nothing to the engine. Just went ahead and rode it. It's been all over the place. I still have this protective screen on here. It's like for your cell phone because I have these keys right here. I have lots of keys and they scratch. They hit that and it's, there's scratches on here right now. But I want to make sure I probably need to order some more reserve films because I don't like it when I can't read the screen. When I first got the bike, this was very hot here. The area was very burning and it was bothering me. It was like super hot. But now there's no heat at all coming from this area of the motorcycle. So I'm very happy. I was thinking if this bike stays hot like this for the remainder of my time with the bike, it's gonna be a problem. It was burning the hair on my legs. It was burning my feet all over the place. And it was just too hot. But right now there's almost no heat coming from it like before. The front brakes have been fabulous. I haven't had any problems at all with the brakes. They've worked like champions. And with that slipper clutch, it's real nice because I'm able to save on the brakes by just letting off the gas when I'm in the turns and the slipper clutch goes ahead and acts like a brake. I still have these big mirrors, these stock mirrors. The bike is basically stock and I just, don't think of this bike as a massive dirt bike. This bike to me is my road warrior. It rides in the dirt, of course, but if I wanna go do some serious hardcore riding, I take my Husqvarna. I haven't changed the seat at all. Just the stock seat that I got with it. It does hurt my butt after a couple hours sitting on it, but it's okay. I stand up and I give my butt a rest when I'm taking a longer trip. But I just kept it all stock pretty much. And the pipe, the pipe is all stock. This big heavy muffler. And it's been okay. I kept the pipe on because of the warranty. If, if I change the pipe, it voids the warranty. And 
hopefully I don't have any problems with it. But I've just went ahead and kept this pipe. It's a quiet pipe. It's nice. It hasn't really made a problem with the performance much at all. And it's just a nice street bike. Like I say, I don't consider this a hardcore racing dirt bike. I just keep this as my all around town putting machine. These gold inverted forks have been wonderful. It's given me lots of suspension. It's been really great. Just a nice forks. The back shocks, they're very soft. Lots of people are replacing those shocks. But I just go ahead and leave them. I'm, I'm a heavier rider and the bike does kind of bottom out, especially if I hit a big bump. But seriously, this bike has been a champion. I'm really excited that I got this bike. When I bought this bike, I was thinking, do I want this bike? Do I really want this bike? And I was looking at the rally. I was looking at this bike also, thinking like, which bike is going to be better? But for me, I was able to do a lot of fun mountain riding with this bike. The rally is kind of a fragile bike. It has a lot of plastics on it. That's why I chose not to go with the rally because I didn't want to destroy all those expensive plastics. However, with this bike, there's no expensive plastics. It's all basic. So when you drop the bike, which this bike has been dropped many times, it's okay. There's no problem at all. The sales lady that sold me the bike, she saw it recently and she said, that bike looks pretty good for being a year and a half old. I keep the bike in the shade. I don't put it in the sun or in the rain. I keep the bike so that it's not exposed to the elements. I keep it covered also sometimes. So you want to go ahead and keep the bike covered and keep it out of the elements as much as possible. 15,000 kilometers. The bike has been really great. I'm pleasantly surprised. And I haven't made a vlog lately on this bike because I've been enjoying it so much, but it's just been a champion. It's been really a wonderful bike and I'm very happy that I got this bike. I've went ahead and hauled a lot of stuff. I put this rack on the back of the bike and I'm so happy that I installed this rack because I'm able to tie things up. I tied some pillows and other things. If I go shopping, I live in a remote area, so sometimes it takes me like hour and a half to go to a big town. So I'm able to strap stuff on here and bring it home. I just love the black rims on this bike. I'm so glad that Honda, they went ahead and made these rims black instead of silver. It's just as a cool look. 15,000 kilometers plus, and the bike's still rolling. It's still doing great and very happy I got this thing. And I'm hoping for a lot more kilometers on this motorcycle. It's been fantastic. If you haven't got a 300L, you might want to think about that because the bike is really dependable. And I'm shocked that the battery has not caused any trouble. Even the headlights, the headlights still are working. The blinkers are working out and the headlights haven't burned out. The chain is good. Everything is good on this bike. So it's been really a great investment. One of the best investments I made in a motorcycle. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today at the beach, talking about the 15,000 kilometer, kilometer, before I said miles, it's kilometers, review on this Honda 300L. Fabulous bike. You should pick one up if you haven't got one. But thanks once again. We appreciate you. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And we'd like to see you again. Thanks again. And we're going to see you. Yeah, we're going to see you next time.